Mabuhay! Welcome to e-learning of Leaders International School in Ain Khalid, Doha, State of Qatar. From the Science Department, my name is Ms. Noreen Sikabasa, the Science Teacher in Year 5. Today, our lesson is all about rocks and the three types of rocks. It is found in your Unit 8, pages 104 until 107. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to, number one, identify an igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Number two, explain how igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks are formed. Big questions. Have you been wondering about the amazing designs of the different buildings? Have you asked about what it is made up of? How strong a building that can withstand in different seasons? Well, it is made up of rocks in different forms. But where can we find rocks and how these rocks are formed? What are these rocks made up of? Do these rocks have different types? And how do it differ from each other? This lesson will help you find out the answers of these questions. Our topic tells us about what are rocks and what are its types. Rocks are everywhere. They can be large or small, heavy or light. We are very much familiar when we talk about rocks. But scientifically, how this material is being described? By definition, rocks are naturally occurring hard solids made up of one or more minerals. These objects can easily be identified because you can always find this anywhere. Rocks in all forms can be found all over the planet. Rocks come in different colors, shape, and sizes. Take a look at the pictures. How are these rocks are being classified? Well, rocks are being classified into three based on how they are formed. The three types of rocks are the following. Number one, igneous rocks. Number two, sedimentary rocks. And number three, metamorphic rocks. Now we will learn these three types of rocks one by one. First, igneous rocks. This type of rocks are formed when magma or lava cools and hardens. Igneous is a word that means fiery, meaning carried out with fire. These rocks are coming from beneath the earth's surface or below the earth's surface. When magma cools down as shown in the picture, one igneous rock is formed and they call it intrusive igneous rocks, example granite and gabbro. But when magma continues to rise and come out through volcanic eruption, take a look at the diagram. The rock will form at the Earth's surface, and instead of magma, lava cools down as it comes out from the volcano, and the igneous rocks being formed in this activity is what we call extrusive rocks. Examples, basalt, rhyolite, and obsidian. Typically, Igneous rocks that form below the Earth's surface have more time to form mineral crystals, so they are usually large. But igneous rocks that form at the Earth's surface don't have as much time to form mineral crystals, so they are usually small. The common uses for igneous rocks include building roads, statues, and steps. Second, sedimentary rocks. These rocks are considered soft among the three types because it is formed from sediment. And what is sediment? Sediment is weathered or broken down rocks or a small particles of sand, mud, and organic material that settle to the bottom of water or land areas, often lakes or oceans. Sedimentary rocks are formed when sediment accumulates over time in deposits that form layers through weathering, erosion, and cementing. These layers become squeezed and compressed over time until they consolidate into a rock. Sedimentary rocks are the type of rocks in which fossils are found. 
what are fossils? Fossils are the remains of a living thing that's imprinted in rock. Some examples of the sedimentary rocks are sandstone and shale. Some sedimentary rocks are formed through chemical process. Examples, rock salt and limestones. These rocks are formed when minerals and sediment dissolve in water. Sedimentary rocks are used in building materials. The third and the last type is metamorphic rock. These rocks are formed from high temperature and pressure. From the word itself, metamorph, which means to change form. Sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, or even metamorphic rocks can be changed by heat and pressure into new kinds of rock. Although igneous and sedimentary rocks can form at the Earth's surface and below the Earth's surface, metamorphic rocks are formed only below the Earth's surface. Examples Limestone becomes marble, sandstone becomes quartzite, shale becomes slate, and gneiss is formed from sedimentary or igneous rocks exposed to temperatures greater than 320 degrees Celsius and relatively high pressure. Metamorphic rocks are often found near and in mountains. This is because mountains experience high amounts of pressure when the earth moves. Rock layers will bend and twist due to this pressure. And well, the common uses of metamorphic rocks are construction and sculptures. Rocks are slowly but constantly changing in something known as the rock cycle. The rock cycle will be discussed in our next lesson. Finally, we finished our discussions. Please remember the words listed in the word bank. Sediment, weathered or broken down rocks. Extrusive igneous rocks. Igneous rocks form below the Earth's surface. Intrusive igneous rocks. Igneous rocks form at the Earth's surface. Metamorph, to change form. Fossils, the remains of a living thing that is imprinted in rock. For your homework and activity, Please answer the following, number 1, worksheet number 2, which you can download from our portal and our WhatsApp group. Number 2, workbook pages 87 until 89. Submit your output using our portal and our WhatsApp group. And that ends our lesson for today. Have a great day and Godspeed. Stay healthy at home and goodbye.